It's one thing to see a priest at the altar preparing for communion. I'm simply just going to add a little bit of vodka. But holy it smoke. Up, it lights up, all right? Do not worry. I am burning the alka hell out of it. Father Leo Paddling Hug is equally at home in the kitchen preparing penne a la vodka. Don't freak out, but just in case, the Holy Spirit is with us. How do you think that what you do as a priest translates to what you do as a chef and really as an entertainer? <laughs> entertainer. Yeah, my priest friends say I'm the hardest working priest in showbiz. And <laughs> right. I say, well, someone's got to work in that. <laughs> That's right, showbiz. Besides his duties here at the seminary at Mount St. Mary's University in Emmitsburg, Maryland. If you're going to tell the story, make it authentic. Teaching future priests. This is a powerful sign. It does speak volumes, does it not? And I got this from uh, Popeyes, because if you look at it this way, it says, Pope, yes. Father Leo hosts a web and cable cooking show, Grace Before Meals. I learned to cook from my mom. Making meals was something his large Filipino family did together. And there were his hungry student priest days in Italy. And it became very expensive, and we didn't have a lot of money, so we cooked. How do you describe the style of cooking that you do? Ah, uh, inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> God bless this food. But it was divine intervention when one of his parishioners turned out to be video producer Tim Watkins. We just kind of tested it out, and he did great. Um, so, yeah, he was a natural. Father Leo didn't just want a cooking show, however. Lord, we ask you to bless this food. For him, Grace Before Meals is a movement, getting families to cook and eat together. Well, cheers to the Holland family and... He's read all the studies. Viva Roma. If you want to reduce drug addiction in your teenagers, teen suicide, teen pregnancy, plus increase your teenager's SAT scores, <laughs> the number one factor in all of that is what? A regular family meal. His cookbook even lists topics to talk about at meals. And many of his shows are actually taped in family homes. It looks kind of funky right now, but it is going to be good. So no wonder he has the blessing of church leaders like Monsignor Stuart Swetland. I think people are saying, what can we do to strengthen our families? And are looking for that, um, if you will, that extra that will make their families stronger. Smell that. Your faithful reporter can attest that dishes like turkey and cranberry stir-fry are, well, heavenly. Mm, it's delicious. Can I get another bite? Oh. Wow. <laughs> That's the best compliment you can give me. I'm so glad. But this break dancing, martial arts practicing, cooking priest went mano a mano just a few weeks ago with our Bobby Flay on the Food Network's throwdown. You know who taught me how to cut? Mother Teresa of Calcutta. Seriously? And guess whose fajitas won over the judges? But Father Leo takes all the attention in stride. That's what happens anyway in a parish. They all know the priest. They are, all eyes are on them anyway. And it's kind of easier since I don't have to see anyone falling asleep during my homilies. <laughs> a lot of love went into it. Penne a la vodka. The love is the vodka, all right? <laughs> no, the love is the grace.